Conventional wisdom would have one believe that it is insane to resist this, the mightiest of empires. But what history really shows is that today's empire is tomorrow's ashes, that nothing lasts forever, and that to not resist is to acquiesce in your own oppression. The greatest form of sanity that anyone can exercise is to resist that force that is trying to repress, oppress, and fight down the human spirit. This is a quote from the revolutionary political prisoner Mumia Abu Jamal. Now, this is a quote that I've come across in the past, definitely, and I just saw it today in a meme, and it's always been one of my favorites, and I, I, I felt the need to just, you know, not just post it in a meme, which I'll do too, you know, later at some point, but to express it, to verbalize it, to speak it into existence, to share it with all of you, to put that energy out there, because it is so so very important that you know we fight for our own sake you know and it's this is this is for all of you who are already fighting just a reminder but also for those who who aren't who may be on, on the border may be awake and aware but say hey what's the point because i've been there fam trust me you know i've been doing this for a long time now relatively long and I put everything I have, all that I am into it. You know, it is my life. My life revolves around the cause. My everyday life, all my actions are in, in a way, in essence, fighting and resisting. Now, at times, I do. It gets overwhelming, you know, and I, and I, I lose sight of what really matters. And, and I find myself attached to some bigger end result of the world just changing and being different and us overthrowing the, 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 the system and rebooting the system and having a new way of living and, and all of that. And that will happen one day. That will happen one day. Because, you know, every empire that has ever existed, everything that goes up must come down. And whatever it was, the, 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 you know, the Greek empire, the Roman empire, whatever, all of them at that time, people said, yo, anyone who opposed it, yo, you're crazy. We, we, we're, we're always going to rule. We're, we'll never bring this empire down. And guess what? The empire came down. But nonetheless, that might not happen in our lifetime. You know, I, may ne I, I might never live to see that. I might not live to see that. So I can't, if that is the, 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 the fuel behind my everyday actions, then, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm more than likely going to, to lose faith and, and start to find it overwhelming. And, and once we attach and want some type of tangible, immediate, although on a day-to-day -day basis, there is that as well. Every individual, every day, I'm having people, myself, be impacted and, and express that and share that with me how much I've touched their lives and with anything it just it could be a simple Facebook or Instagram post now you know not 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 to speak of my music because I know not everyone can do music like I can but just online activism and fighting in that way you understand what I'm saying and through our everyday lives through through minimizing and and, and not contributing to cer certain detrimental things and contributing to other positive things so, but nonetheless, the point is that we need to fight not for some great, you know, approval, acceptance, for some great reward or some kind of compensation in any type of form, but rather because it is the right thing to do because you know it is and you feel it in your heart and soul and your intuition. You know what I'm saying? And because it is the same, same thing to do as Mumia said, it's the only sane thing to do. For me, that's self-defense, and self-defense is intelligence, it's sanity. Intelligence, as Malcolm X said. You know, if somebody's coming at me and beating me up, if I'm in a position to, and they're robbing me and stealing from me, if I'm in a position to fight back, I'm going to fight back. Because I ain't no punk, all right? I ain't no defeatist. I'm not about to give up in any type of way in anything I do in my life. If I'm, if I'm able to. I'm going to fight back. I'm going to fight for myself. I'm going to fight for, for my people, for the planet, for the animals, for all of life. And we have to. That is the fuel that drives me. It's just knowing that it is the right thing to do. And I don't, I don't, need, to, I don't need to see some big, you know, 180 in the whole world. I, don't, I hope I do. I would love to. But that's, that's, I, I don't need that. All I need to know 
is that it's the right, it is the right thing to do. And that's all any of y'all should know as well. And whatever anybody, oh, you'll never change. Look, people are going to tell you that. Because they don't, they don't want to take action. They don't want to change. Their lives are comfortable or they're scared or whatever it is. Don't listen to that. You need to fight. And you need to fight for yourself first and foremost. And take a stand for yourself in your everyday life. You know what I'm saying? Have courage. Have conviction. Stand up. Fight for yourself. Do what's right for yourself. You know, we're facing oppression and injustice, injustice on, a, on a global scale, but so many of us face it on a day-to-day -day basis in our individual lives, whether it be dealing with work, with family, with, you know, people around us who are trying to impose their will on us and essentially oppress us, whether they're doing it consciously or, or not. But that's what so many of us deal with. And if we can't in our everyday life stand up and fight for ourselves, and fight for what we believe in and for what we love and for what we know is right and for our own happiness and our own sake, then how are we going to be able to fight for other people and for the planet and for the animals and for everything else? All right? Like everything, it starts within yourself. Be the change. Start in your personal life. Take a stand. Take care of yourself. Fight for what makes you happy. Fight for what you love. And do it because it's the right thing to do because that is sanity. If we're, if we're anything that goes against love, which is all, it's all fear-based, it keeps us stuck, it keeps us trapped. And, that's, and that is not a healthy way to be. That is not a sane way to be. And right now, the world is, in fact, insane. But that doesn't mean that we don't have to be. And one day, whether or not we're alive for it or not, the world will change. And people will look back at us as the courageous warriors, the revolutionaries who took a stand and who, who stood up and didn't conform and, and went against the norm, went against the grain. And, and, and we might not be alive to, to get any kind of recognition or whatever, it doesn't matter. But the day will come when you, my people, and I, when we are looked upon as true heroes. And I already see all of y'all as that. Everyone who's fighting. Y'all are heroes. You're my heroes. And I love y'all. And you know what? That's it. So keep getting big on them. Keep fighting for the cause. You know what we do. Big love and respect, y'all. Peace.